The Flex Shapes catalog has been provided to give you an easy way to create some common tools. For example, the cam block, if you drag and drop it out, looks like an ordinary cam block that starts out as a shape for you, which saves you some time by itself. But this also has some unique features to it. For example, if we drop a couple of cylinders out here that we want to wrap our cam cylinder around, for example, we'll make this a little bit smaller. The way this function works is you basically slept on the holes, turn your tri ball on, and just right click on a plane and say to center point. It will move that hole and the related geometry to those locations. You can also select the holes and push and pull on the handles and snap to the faces to adjust. And notice the geometry will also adjust to fit. Then you can essentially just use the tri ball at the part level to slide this up onto your shape. Again, if you missed anything on there, if you, for example, I might have not snapped correctly on that hole, I can select my hole in the the browser and again resnap and you can see now I have a hard edge. You can also adjust the thickness on this as well as a parameter value if you go to the parameters on this part you'll see, let's turn these down, you'll see a thickness factor. This is just a scaling factor for example if we want to make it a little bit tighter around there we hit apply you can see that it'll adjust our shape to fit a little bit tighter or if we wanted to make it a bit thicker we can hit apply make that adjustment. This is really just setting a value to the offset value on the sketch which you can edit it manually and set it to a precise value if you like. You can also adjust the height by pushing and pulling on these handles to make your cam block bigger to fit. So that's one example of a, a, a utility that's in the Flex Shapes catalog. Another one, I'll bring in another part here. We have a, a cam belt that we may want to wrap around our our locations here. So what we can do is again very similar behavior just drag and drop this shape out and you'll see that it sits somewhere in your file. Just turn your tribal on to position it. In our case we'll go ahead and put it to the center point of this bottom top start uh, bottom piece of our our cylinder that we want and then we can just basically spin it around in our case to the center point of the other shape to align it properly. This works very similar to the other cam that we have, but this time you have to actually go into the scene browser to access these hidden features. For example, the large hole. Again, you just select that, do the same behavior to the center point of that. And again, you can just adjust the sizes to fit. So for example, in this case, we'll just adjust our hole, snap that guy to our outside piece, select our smaller hole, snap that to our shape there. And then we can do a variety of things as well. For example, we can adjust the thickness. If you select to the IntelliShape in this case, hit to the parameters, and you show the parameters for that guy, you'll see a thickness for that IntelliShape. In our case, let's just make it a little bit thicker. We can see that adjust. That's a little bit better for what we want. And then we can adjust its height by pulling the handles and snapping to an edge. So we can see that automatically fits inside of here. And of course, it's just like any other part. You can use the tri ball. In this case, we can link it down <coughs> to the bottom area to make a copy of that. So a very simple tool to help you make these cams a little bit easier instead of doing a multiple sketches, extrudes, and offsets just to use a utility to build that. Let's go ahead and hide this geometry. The other shapes that we have out here, for example, is the arc slot. Uh, very simple tool. It's a, just a part that be, can be dropped on and booleaned as a negative cut as well. But basically you'll have a sketch feature here in the middle that dries pretty much everything on your shape. For example, if we move this in, you'll see that the cylinders will adjust inside of here to give you better thickness. You can adjust the height as well if you want to make a thin part. And then just your spin radius to get the actual shape that you want. And of course these are all handle driven so if you want an exact radius <coughs> you can type in 125 to adjust that for example. The half slot is very similar uh, to the last shape. It uh, gives you a, an easy way to to adjust your geometry. For example, if we push and pull these outer handles of our profile you'll notice that our hole will always stay in the center which we can adjust the location of our a height of our, our uh, slot or the si width of our slot and then at any time you'll notice when you click on this by default the radius value is already selected or diameter value in this case to where you can say well I want a two inch hole and let that update there we go let that update to give you the right result inside of there and of course you can adjust the thickness or the bottom location of your profile the cylinder with plate is a, a very common item as well 
And again, when you select on the out shape, outside shape, it by default will give you a value that you can type in exactly, or you can push on the and push and pull on the handle to get the value that you like. Uh, the inner holes are driven by a, a, a pattern. So if you just double click on that pattern, say we want to do maybe eight holes at 45 degrees, and since our diameter is six, we can make this one be 2.5 to adjust those holes out there to a different size. And of course the inner hole again you can type a value or push and pull to adjust it. And this is all set to be allow you to change the thickness as well. These are all through holes so it'll give you the right value for you. The cylinder with hole is a, a very common starting point that you may use. Again this is just working with cylinders where you can push and pull or type in values when you select on those, again adjust the top and your other one is always a through hole, will adjust for you automatically, giving you a nice starting location. The spin shape is very similar to this shape, just a different way of editing it. Oh, this is actually a feature, so you can actually drop it onto an existing part or drop it out as a new scene as a part element. But it is driven all from a sketch, so you can adjust its height and its thickness by adjusting the sketch inside of here. And the spin feature works very similar. If you hold your shift key down and drop onto the center of that, you'll see that it drops a very similar shape. And again, we can adjust this thickness in case we want to make a, a groove ring here. Let's adjust that top handle down a little bit and snap it to our top face. We can now set the distance of how far we want this cut to go on the outside, for example. So a very handy tool for those two spin shapes. Makes it nice and easy to adjust and create these type of shapes. Your plate is <clears throat> a good starting point that is often common in your design as well. This one works with uh, symmetrical sizing handles, so you can adjust your plate to whatever width and height values that you want. You can adjust the center one by pushing and pulling or typing in values. You can also adjust the hole size the same, in a similar fashion. You can also change the position, and the way that is driven is at the actual parameters. If you turn off the show parameters, you'll see two parameters that are at the top level that drive the hole position and the blend radius. So for example, say we want to make that the blend radius a little bit thicker, we can change our hole position to be 0.625 and apply. You can see all those adjust automatically for us. And again, we can adjust our hole size. You'll see a little graphic update there, but you can see that these automatically stay in those correct positions and allow you to adjust that dynamically. The corners removed shape is very similar to the last one. It's all symmetrically driven from the block standpoint. And this, your holes, in this case, are just push and pull handles to adjust the size of that. Same for your center hole, just adjust to drive that shape. The plate with a step <clears throat> gives you very similar behaviors as well for your block. You know, that is some symmetrical settings for both, both sides here. Your height value, when you select on this, for example, say we want to that, change that from 0.375 to 0.5 in height, all these parts in the middle will adjust, <clears throat> but you can also adjust their height just by clicking on them. Say we'll make that one 0.25, and we can click on our bottom one 0.25 as well, and adjust that to give us a thickness value for those. And they're already automatically set and positioned properly for you. So very little, very quick, handy tool for a, a step plate. The square angle is similar to your cam block behaviors. It gives you a way to drive this shape. Uh, your your bottom and your sides will always be, uh, in this case, uh, parallel to the ground. This will be perpendicular to the, the bottom surface. But essentially, select on your hole and turn your tribal on. Then you can push and pull this hole and it will adjust your geometry to account for the hole's location wherever it's at. You can also use the plane handle to drive that location to move it up, down, or anywhere you like. And when you change the diameter size, the hole will adju up, adjust as well with a sub, uh, specific offset distance. And you can adjust that later if you like. But again, you can move it anywhere you want and that will properly adjust. You can also pull the handle on the profile to give you a, a different thickness to adjust it to whatever your needs are. The last two features are really handy that are probably more common than most of these shapes. But basically the through the through H cylinder and through block. Basically wherever your thickness is when you drag and drop it, it will automatically extend and go through your part uh, for you automatically instead of having to snap to the opposite end of that thickness. So if we change our thickness again to something bigger, of course that one will adjust for us 
if we drop another hole, it would automatically go through there. The H block is, is very similar. If you drag and drop that onto a point, for example, it'll extrude through the part for you and give you the thickness, and then you just use the handles to adjust your block to the size that you need. Okay, so this is the Flex Shapes catalog that will be available in the 2016 release. Uh, very handy, and we'll continue to add some more features uh, from feedback from customers. Enjoy.